I'm going to show you how to make a clicker book. This is a really great resource uh, that you can make for telling any kind of story, including social stories, which are really useful in a special needs school. Okay, uh, this is what it looks like to make a book. Uh, how I got there is I click on Show Explorer, Quick Start, Make a Book, and then you can choose Landscape or Portrait Orientation. I like portraits, um, but you can choose either or. That brings you to the same screen that I had opened before. Now, the Make a Book is a unique type of wizard um, in Clicker, which allows you to edit um, your book and then when you're finished you can click on play and then that allows you to read your book in class without being able to edit anything. When I click now it doesn't let me edit but I can open the toolbar and continue editing my story. This is quite important once you have pictures in here if you're in editing mode and you click on the picture it's going to take away that picture and ask you to put in a new one. With Clicker, while I'm busy building my book, because it's designed for the learners themselves to make their own books, you still have all those levels of support for your writing. Um, you can still bring in the predictor, you can bring in the on-screen on -screen keyboard if you want, um, you can hear your speech read to you, and you can even have those instant pictures. I don't want instant pictures in my book right now, so I'm going to go to User Preferences, Media, and make sure that instant pictures in the document is turned off. Okay, that's fine. Say all right. And now let's say I'm going to start a story about going to the beach. Um, we are going to the beach. Oh, that's actually a little bit too big. So I'm going to highlight all my text and go here to the ABC and make it a little bit smaller. Let's go to 36. There we go. That's much better text size. You can also change your fonts and the color of your text. Then when I click on the middle one, this is the fun one, you can either paint a picture of the beach. There's some sand and maybe the sea. If you're happy, you can click OK. There's your picture of the beach. But if I'm not happy with that, I can click on it and rather could take a webcam photo or I can open from a file and here I've already opened to beach pictures that was jumping the gun but I just went back to home quick picture library um, let's go down and find something to do where is the seaside there we go seaside and now I have all these pictures to choose from or I could even have chosen something from my My Documents. Okay, so there's we're going to the beach, and this is maybe uh, Mrs. Smith's class. Okay, um, that's my front page, looks pretty good. When I click on this icon, it will read back to me with the English speech to text engine. So just be aware that if you're making your book in Afrikaans, you want to make sure that you turn off all of those text to speech options, or it's going to try and read your Afrikaans words in English and sound very silly. Um, what you can do though is have your own voice be recorded inside the inside the book. If I click on this icon. And then it brings up your sound recorder. I can record myself saying something and then have that be saved in. Once again, because I'm busy using my microphone to do this tutorial, it won't let me record right now, but you can do that. Um, I assure you when you are building your own books. You can then go to the next page, bring in a picture, uh, maybe here, and then I can say, on Monday we are going to the beach full stop on monday we are going to the beach and i can do the same sort of recording in here and then i can make another page add a new page and keep bringing in um maybe different aspects of my story uh with a picture let me just wait for that picture to come up uh, maybe i can say we need to bring an umbrella Okay. We need 
to bring out an umbrella. All right, so um, if we are finished with our book, let's say we've put in all the pages, we can now say make this the last page. Um, and then if I go back to the beginning and click on play, um, I can now go through my book, uh, have it be read to me. We are going to the beach. Mrs. Smith's class. Or I can listen to the playback recording of uh, my own voice saying some things. Um, and I can go through the story that way. Make sure once you've finished making it that you go to click a set, save click a set, and you save the story somewhere useful. So you can make, uh, make yourself a new folder if you need to, save it in your My Documents, somewhere where you'll be able to find it and who that story is for, and make sure you give it a name that allows you to find it as well. Okay, that is how to create a clicker book. Don't forget to like Edit Micro Systems on Facebook.